Hi, my name is Belinda Esdale and I am the Portfolio Advisor for the Land-Based Sector of City and Guilds. Today I'm going to talk through the Sample Academic Planner to deliver the Level 3 Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Animal Management 720 GLH. This Sample Planner shows the three academic terms, Autumn, Spring and Summer, in red, blue and green respectively. This extended diploma in animal management 720 is delivered over two years and the first year is delivered identically to the 360 GLH qualification which would allow learners to step off should they find that they are able to progress to something else after the first year. Term 1 the content consists of five mandatory units and the delivery of the one optional unit which is required for this. Health and safety is embedded throughout and that is tested at the beginning of December with an Evolve online test. You'll note with the formative assessment that for the optional unit selected, in this case biology, this has been put in every month. This is in order to prepare learners for the test in the second term. In term two, learners continue with the mandatory content as well as the optional unit, they will also compile or start to compile the work experience. The synoptic assignment that covers the rem remaining mandatory content, not the biology, is released in week 18. Learners will then have the opportunity to research and gather evidence and product ready for the assignment to be put together under controlled conditions. In Term 3, learners will continue compiling their evidence for their work experience portfolio ready for upload at the end of that term. Should learners wish to finish at this stage, they can step off and will have achieved their technical certificate in animal management. For learners that wish to progress, they will carry on into the second year. For Year 2, in the autumn term, delivery of the remaining mandatory units is suggested. There are three of them, with formative assessment taking place at the end of that term. During Term 2, learners will continue to receive teaching on the mandatory content. They will also start to receive teaching on the three optional units. The synoptic assignment will be released to the centre in Week 18, and learners will then be given opportunity to collect evidence, research and produce product for that synoptic assignment. Tasks will be carried out under controlled conditions and the results as in the synoptic assignment marks will be uploaded by week 26. Learners during this time will additionally be revising for their end test which will be on the mandatory content of this second year only. That test takes place in week 25. During the final term Delivery will continue of the optional units and learners will be putting together content for the optional assignments. These optional assignments are then uploaded to the portal in week 34. Please note, whilst these assignments are graded, they do not contribute to the overall grade of the final qualification. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, please contact me or your business manager or you can find more information on our website at www.cityandguilds.com forward slash techback.